Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Now, if you just joined us, we're talking about Dr. Oz. He was up here. And um, he said this. Uh, if you're uh, more than a first cousin away, it's not a big problem. Okay, so second cousin. <laughs> yeah. <it's by> the <laughs> smash. Yeah. You know what's so funny? Because yeah. I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> How did you know that? Because you I'm smashed from the country. So every family has genetic strengths and weaknesses. Mm -hmm. And so the reason we naturally crave people who are not so like us is because mm -hmm. you just have to mix the gene pool up a little bit. So that if I have one gene for, let's say, hemophilia, which is a classic example where you bleed a lot mm -hmm. if you catch yourself. Yeah, and I, yeah, I, yeah, I don't want to marry a cousin who has the same hemophilia gene because the chance of our child having both those genes is much higher. Okay. But for, you know, for the vast majority of problems, that, you know, it's not an issue. Now, get in some damn context, okay? Dr. Oz was here in 2014, okay? This was 2014. Now, Dr. Oz is running for uh, a Senate seat in Pennsylvania. Correct. And they are using this against him. You know, this is, this is an ad. Uh, a Fetterman, who he's running against, used this in a campaign Dr. ad. Dr. Oz is like, why did I come up to the Why did I come to the breakfast club? <laughs> well, Dr. Oz has been there a million times. Yeah. But, I mean, anybody that was in entertainment that makes the move to politics is going to have, you know, this kind of stuff in their 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 background. They just are. But the moral of the story is give the Breakfast Club their goddamn credit when y'all be reporting oh this God. story. I don't want to hear morning radio show, okay? It's the Breakfast Club. So I guess right? the, I guess the question is have you ever smashed or had relations with a family member, like a cousin? See I don't like why do you do that? I don't like when you do this. Why? Why? We're why? talking about cousins. They ain't no family member. Okay? <laughs> Anybody said no no family member. It's cousin. Although I did see a story recently about uh a brother and sister, I guess they <sighs> were both adopted. Did you see that story? I did see that. And yes. they, yeah, I don't and believe that. And then they did a DNA test, and it turns out they're brother and sister. Yeah, they've already I, been dating. I think they lied. So I want you to think about it. Have you ever had anything with a, with a cousin, a kiss, or anything? Listen, I'm from the country. I'm from Mount Corner, South Carolina, raised on a dirt road. It's almost like everybody cousins. You know what I'm saying? And I've heard uh, a million of these stories before. Kevin Gates. Yeah, I've heard Kevin Gates say that, but I've heard these stories personally, like when, you know, especially when you're from the country, because you be having third, fourth, and fifth cousins. The reality of the situation is, I don't know anything after first cousins. I only know first cousins. After first cousins, I don't know what number falls to what. Do you really, who in this room really knows their third cousin? I don't. That's what I'm saying. Well, I don't know who my third just, cousin is, my fourth cousin. I just recently found out a couple of years ago that Five Mikes is my cousin. Mm. Oh, yeah, he definitely told me. Did yeah. Hit? Yeah. Yeah, he's been. <laughs> Did I hit? No! I don't know ye. I heard Sorry. that. <laughs> Sorry, Five Mikes, that you got dragged into this. <laughs> five Mikes. I don't know what no. you're trying to say, bro. <laughs> five five isn't, Mikes. Isn't Sky Zoo your cousin? Sky Zoo is my cousin. Did you hit? <laughs> no, it don't work for me, brother. <laughs> All right? Sky Zoo is my cousin, but I've met Sky Zoo in Monk's Corner. You know what I'm saying? Like I that was in New York. I've been five months. Oh yeah, in you're right. You're right. I but would I'm... say my mom is from Montserrat. It's a small island, and every time I I just ran into somebody in the airport, we're like, "What's your last name?" That's how you know if you're related because the island's so small. All right. Well, uh, let's go to. Hey. Hello, who's this? Hello, hey, this is John. John, what's up? You had some relations with your cousin, bro? Yeah, I mean, shit. I'm still fucking to this day. You can't curse. <laughs> okay. You can't curse. What cousin? First cousin? Second cousin? What is it? God. See, that's wild. Know. See, when you when you, when you say your mom's cousin daughter, I don't know where that falls in the gene yeah, pool. Where, where you from? No, it's yeah, not. I'm, just like cousin. I'm from Miami. I'm, but I'm half Puerto Rican, half white. Okay. Half white, my mom's Puerto Rican. Now we get into the root of why everybody in Florida is so crazy. Why? I'm Family sure incest. Up, <laughs> okay. But that's weird. Your what is what what is your mother's cousin's daughter to you? What is that? I, Your mother's cousin's daughter? I don't know. That's I don't what I'm know. saying. I don't even know what that. What is that to you? I don't know. I don't know. Hello, who's this? It's D. D, what's up? What's going on? You ever uh, had any relationships with a uh, cousin? I ain't never had no 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 little relationship, but I done had sex with one or two cousins. <laughs> Stop laughing at this man and let him tell his story. That's why nobody wants to share with you, Envy. <laughs> Tell us the story, <laughs> sir. I had no love relationship, but I had sex. What with happened? Him. How you end up having sex with your cousin? We were like kids playing and like teenagers coming up and they, they made out a chair and sleep together. Hold on, was y'all hunching or like actually like sleeping with each other, penetrating? Wow. I don't penetrate in, I don't play in the vagina. I started playing in the vagina. Oh. In your vagina? 
In her vagina. Oh, I'm about to say, Jesus Christ. What is going on? Right, See, that's not even a situation where you didn't know y'all was now, what, related. Yeah, yeah, yeah what number knew. cousin? This this had to be like your first cousin or something, man. No, 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 no. That had to be like, I'm, uh, my mom had me young, so I don't go with cousin like four or five years older than that's still your cousin, even though yes, they're four or I mean, five years older than you. What number cousin, sir? He don't know. Like, um, my mama generation cousin. Okay, let me get it. <laughs> this is why, this, this why it gets confusing. How I just are, don't how know. Are y'all, how are y'all related is the question that we're asking. <laughs> like, how is that your cousin? Is it your mother's sister's child? Like, who is it? No, it's like one of my mama auntie cousins or one of my... I had an uncle had 30 son kids. Wow. Like, a lot of kids would be on Easter. 35 oh, kids. Yeah. See, that's where it gets confusing, oh, right? Thank you, bro. Cause, because if, if it's your mama or daddy's cousin, oh, my what is that that's person second, to you? That's your second cousin. Is it? Yeah, I just looked it up. If Okay, so if it's your mama's Your cousin, mom's cousin's child is your second cousin with no removed added because you share the same great-grandparents. But what if it's like a, what if it's like your mom's second cousin? What if it's like your mom's second or third cousin? It's got to be, I would think that it got that would have to be your mom's first cousin for it to be your second cousin. Right? Right. So what if what if it's not first cousin? What if it's Maybe like it's your third cousin? What if it's your mom's second what if it's just some person your mom calls cousin? And what is Hutchinson? What? Did you say you were you Hutchinson? Hutchinson? Hunching. What is hunching? Huh. Hunting is not having sex but grinding. That's hoping. And like Stay right there. No, no, hunting no, and no, humping no, is the no, same no, thing. I don't know. Right no, 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 no. I'm gonna show no, you. No, no, I don't wanna know. I'm gonna no. show you. No, you're not gonna show me. No, no. King, I no. wanna show Envy, you. Envy, no. Envy, Envy, call King. his bluff. No, I'm King. not calling his bluff. Call his bluff. No, he's gonna I do it. I don't know. No, I know. You can't call see. his no, bluff. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. No, touch me. No, you can't see. Ah! You see how you backing it up on Envy? Yes, yes. That's hunting. All right. You turn around. All right. Hey, all you gotta do is turn around. All right. You guys, I just wanna say, you can't do this. 800 He said no. 105. I said no three times. 805. You did 105. not say no. <laughs> you stood up and threw your ass to Eddie. I didn't know. So clearly you wanted Eddie to hunt you. Oh, he's calling HR. Eddie's Eddie last too. name is F. <laughs> that means fornicate, first cousin. <laughs> okay. My goodness. 800 585 1051. Have you ever had relationships with your uh, cousins? First cousin, second cousin, third cousin? <laughs> it's the oh, Breakfast Club. Man. Hello, who's this? This DJ from Tampa. Hey, what's up, brother? What's going on? How y'all doing, Breakfast Club? We're doing Blessed good. black and highly favored. How you doing, DJ? How many times you had sex with your cousin, bro? Uh, one time. But it wasn't technically my cousin. Okay. Explain. Explain, my please. Brother cousin. It was huh. my brother cousin. So, so you're not blood related. And your step really not. My brother, me and him got the same mom. Uh, so his cousin brother. used to okay. grow up with us. You know, we used to play house. You know, she she was a mommy, I was a daddy. You know, we used to do all that crazy stuff in there. As we got older, probably like around 19, then she, uh, yeah, she came at me. And, you know, it went down. How'd that make you feel? I ain't feel nothing on it. I just wanted to make it happen because I was tired of playing houses back in the day. Oh, okay. When she when she when she, when when she called you now, do you say, "What's up, family?" <laughs> I still say, "Cuzzo." Jesus oh Christ! Sick world. That's when people be like, "It's wow. like my cousin." If you call a cuzzo, that's wild, bro. <laughs> that's wild. I don't know what else to call her. You right? Jesus Christ! What's up, cousin? You can't sleep with your cousin. Then say, "What's up, cousin?" Hello, who's this? Oh. Hey, hey, this is Ebony. How y'all doing? Hey, hey Ebony. Ebony. You sound like the product of a first cousin relationship. <laughs> uh-uh, no, don't do that. <laughs> no. no, but let me tell y'all real quick, though. Like, I'm from Florida, but I stay in Georgia, so like... I'm, I'm noticing a pattern. Oh, no, my goodness. <laughs> All the cousin fornicators are in Florida. <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> but when I was younger, yes, my cousins did used to try to, like, punch on me. For you new school people, when I say that, I mean with the clothes on. And so, like, um, <laughs> as we're older now, I'm not going to lie. Like, they've kind of, like, not tried to sleep with me, but, you know, kind of gave me the eye. And I'm like, nah, because, like, don't even try it. But I'm telling you, I feel like if I fed into it, then I could be able to sleep with my cousin if it was up to me, you know. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you have the wherewithal to say nah, cuz. And, you know, do you know that this city slicker in here, this little beige bastard DJ Envy just asked me what is hunching? Really? Yes. 
I don't know what that anyway, is. Anyway, it's the same thing as humping, You say humping. But, I mean, hunting, come on. Back in the day, we already know we clothes on, hump, hump, whatever. We thought we was grown, but... That's right. Come on. Nah, we always just said humping, but all right. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. All right. Now, what's the moral of the story? There is no moral to this story, clearly. This, this story has no morals, all right? <laughs> I don't know what to say, uh, you know. To each his own. But this is why no. this is why people think that, you know, they using this to attack Dr. Oz. But the reality is there's a lot of people out here who've, you know, been in this situation. And what he said is rings true for a lot of people. He was like, yo, if it's, you know, third or fourth cousin, hey, to some people it's fair game. I think uh, Dr. Oz is talking about genetically too, right? Like, would that affect anything? I don't know. But I would say the moral of the story is, Try not to have sex with your cousin. Okay. I guess he doesn't agree. <laughs> Who? You! I don't disagree. Okay. I don't think you should have sex with your cousin. Right. I just know that some of this stuff is complicated. It's not as easy. Like, once again, we don't even know anything past first cousin. You had to Google which second cousin was. You know what I mean? So it's like... I, but you, you know when you're related to somebody... Do you? I mean, if you do, I can see if you don't know, but if you know you're related to someone, don't have sex Yeah, yeah, if you know, exactly, exactly. That's the moral of the story. Exactly.